Number two on her list was emotional intimacy. Man, emotional intimacy is just being willing to be vulnerable. A lot of times, um, and we see it and hear about it all the time on these new podcasts where people are talking about um, it's like a woman versus man type of thing. And now that culture that we see is creating where men don't want to be vulnerable with women. And then women are so hard now that they can't, uh, they don't believe they can be soft with men. It's like the submissive type of thing. Uh, vulnerability for women is becoming submissive. That means not having to be strong, not having to um, have that tough survival instinct and allowing somebody else to lead. But that's hard to do when the conversations are critical of each other. So if a man becomes vulnerable, whether it's him crying, and I'm not talking about just being a crybaby and just crying over everything, but being vulnerable in situations where he feels like he can go to his woman, his wife, his lady, um, or whoever his significant other is, and actually have deep, heartfelt conversations to talk about those trauma bonds. The way you grow together out of a trauma bond is when you can talk about the growth, the things that you're facing um, as you begin to look at within yourself to grow to each other. And that creates the emotional connection that allows for the intimacy to be deeper and long lasting.